much, what do we think this weighs? 80 to 100 pounds? I'd say so about 80 to 100. So, yeah, yeah, I forget exactly. I know it's a 100 foot hose, so I know that. Speaking of 100 foot hoses. <laughs> <T -drive. laughs> so this is the mad scientist, Nick Nelson, who is known for just inventing crazy cool exercises. So he hasn't trained with this before. We're just throwing it out there to him and just gonna see what happens. What's what's he gonna do, people? This is the first time I've ever seen or even used a fire hose here for anything, so just gonna uh, play with it and see what happens here. So first thing you can do when it's rolled up, you got hose carries. Tough call. There. So you just walk up and down the street with this carry for like a mile. Yeah. That'll probably do the trick. Yeah. Put this up on something and let's see what happens here. Uh, nice. This thing wasn't like really clean well before. Was it? <laughs> how's, how's it smell? It smells uh, awesome, like mildew and dirt. Like a moldy old yeah. fire hose. And most of that's in my ear now, so kind of what we were going for. Yep, so now you got yourself a loaded carry up and down the street. It's going to be a little bit different than that barbell carry. Uh, that this is actually like really fun. I, and then you want to switch shoulders. Mm, I don't know. Nope. Nope. <laughs> We're going to toss it just no. <laughs> The good thing is that it's coiled, if it's coiled well. Yeah, and you got push ups. Yeah, that, that looks good. This is exer exercise three in the circuit. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually really cool. It is. And then you can very easily mimic an atlas stone. Oh. Same shape, except for a little bit wider here. Very obviously. awkward. Dude. Yeah, this thing is. There we go. And you got your atlas stone lifts and carries. Let's see. And very much like a Swiss ball in a lot of ways here. Get yourself some unstable positioning. Not sure how well that's gonna work. You see something to grip onto, but we learned to you do elevated push-ups. Wow. So yeah. It's definitely in your realm of stability ball training that, right that's, there. That's probably worse than a stability ball. Now for the fun part, you keep your legs to the side. Roll oh, this geez. thing. <laughs> Did you sign the waiver? <laughs> yeah. In blood. In blood. <laughs> in teeth. Uh, there we go. It's a little bit tougher. You yeah, yeah, it's a three roll. The hose is sliding out on you there. Yeah. Be better to actually roll that. This way instead, but we're gonna do that. <laughs> so then you get yourself some high handstand push-ups. Zercher squat now. You're now Zercher squat. There you go. Yeah, absolutely. Go for it. Just like so. No doubt. There's so many things you can do with this. Now, just for, for, for a good finisher, you want to throw that loose end over your shoulder and just kind of go for a little walk. Yeah, say the thing about finished. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, if you've never done a bear crawl before, it's hands on the ground, feet on the ground, stepping forward. Actually, my thighs, to be honest. Just like so. Nice. Oh, 
air crawl. That's like great it. on the legs. And your hip flexors or everything. You just do a plain drag too. Just hold one over your shoulder and just walk. I was thinking, you want to work your neck, put on your forehead. Ooh. This is some bad science and stuff here, so. You do have a partner when it's coiled up. You have to set that on your back. You got weighted push ups. Um, because the material is so thick, it'd actually be hard to do like a weighted chin up with it. But not entirely impossible. So, if you can grip like that, you can grip like literally like a pinch, and then you go straight up drag. some cardio interval training take this in run with it as far as you can drop it run back here grab this in run it back and then just do kind of like a, a seesaw kind of thing yeah and uh, so there's plenty of different options basically anything that has weight like this uh, length like this there's so many things you can do with it um, coiled up uncoiled you know folded in half you may look a little bit crazy while you're doing it but that's half the fun and uh, literally this is a great piece of equipment that you can probably get uh, just fish out of a garbage dump at your local fire station. <laughs> or from uh, Chris Wilson's daycare lady. Exactly. She had one, that's where we got it. <laughs> Perfect, There's, yeah. Basically, the goal of what I'm trying to get across here is you can just look at anything in your environment that has resistance or that you can grip onto, and you can use that as training equipment, as resistance or as apparatus, and just use your imagination and have fun with it.